Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my channel, Doctor School. Today our lecture is about paraplegia. In this lecture will talk about definition of paraplegia, etiology, clinical features, diagnosis, and treatment of paraplegia. So, what is paraplegia? Paraplegia is defined as paralysis that occur in the lower half of the body in which patients does not move legs, feet and stomach muscles. Etiology The most common etiology of paraplegia is spinal cord injuries and brain injuries. First, spinal cord injuries. 38.3% of spinal cord injuries is due to vehicles accidents. 31.6% have been from fallings. Some other common causes include violent crimes or other sporting accidents. Some chronic conditions can also lead to paraplegia like tumors of spinal cord and tumors of the brain some other neurological conditions like stroke and cerebral palsy autoimmune conditions like damaged myelin sheet which is multiple sclerosis risk factors include sports like football gymnastic diving and history of cancer family history of a condition that affect your nervous system types of paraplegia partial paraplegia complete paraplegia and hereditary paraplegia partial paraplegia in partial paraplegia does not fully affected both legs that is one leg is fully paralyzed but other is limited or normal complete paraplegia a complete paraplegia is unable to use both legs and may experience other issues such as loss of bladder and ball movement you see both legs are affected hereditary spastic paraplegia a group of inherited disorders that are characterized by progressive weakness and stiffness of the legs symptoms include stiffness in the legs impaired vision from cataracts and optic nerve issues epilepsy lack of, of muscle coordination that is ataxia and cognitive impairment clinical presentation of paraplegia in Clinical presentation of paraplegia include lesions and loss of sensation below the site of the lesion and there will be no control over bowel and bladder activities. Phantom pain in the lower half of the body, difficulty of walking and standing, decrease in or loss of sexual function, libido, fertility and skin problems. Diagnosis and diagnosis, first physical examination, patient history of accident and any sport trauma. X-ray will do, X-ray of spine to check any spine fractures. You see, a gaming diagram. CT scan will do to check the severity of lesion. MRI scan will do to check for any blood clot that may suppress the spinal fluid. Treatment Treatment There is no proper treatment for paraplegia but we can treat some symptoms and complications. Physiotherapy is important. For example, a doctor may prescribe physical or occupational therapy to help with pain and muscle issue right devices to support mobility like wheelchairs and mobility scooters
Medical treatment, muscle relaxing medication like baclofen, blood thinner are used to prevent any clot formation like enoxaparin or deltaparin. In some cases, surgery may be required to remove lesions. Complications of paraplegia, pressure sores, thrombosis, depression, loss of muscle tone, pain, impotence, bladder or bowel incontinence, etc. Physical therapy important for patients with paraplegia like yoga, weightlifting, seated aerobics and water aerobics. Thanks. If you like my videos, please subscribe my channel.